So you've received a guest pass to eXp World. You're gonna look for a subject line in your email called Welcome from eXp Realty. Let's get started. Now, when you're about to start your application, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the following handy. Your real estate license number, if you have one. There are some states where you can do a letter of intent pre-license, but this tutorial is gonna talk about doing one, an application with a real estate license. You're going to want to know if you're going to be being paid as a person or a business. You're also going to want to know your direct deposit information. So you need your bank account information handy, your routing number and your account number for your bank. You're also going to have a credit card handy because there is a spot on the uh, independent contractor agreement where it asks for a checking account or a credit card, but it really asks for both and all of them are asterisked. Now, you're also going to want to know which Realtor Association and MLS that you are going to be a part of. So after you fill out the application, and there's another tutorial on that, we're going to do a license verification and your independent contractor agreement is going to be reviewed by eXp Realty staff. Then you're going to get a subject line email. Welcome to eXp Realty. Let's get started. That's an exciting day. Now, for your license transfer and Realtor and MLS affiliation, that works with your state broker. Now your broker team is going to re be reviewing your MLS, your association, and your license needs. But let's dive into that a little bit. You're going to get an email that says quick updates on license transfer for eXp Realty. And you can always reach out to your state, which is state abbreviation dot onboarding at exprealty.net. Or you can go into the world, go to menu broker state floor and hit on state. Now, why and how to become a realtor and have an MLS affiliation. I'm not going to go into that. You can read that on your own time. Um, so these next two slides talk a little bit about why you need to become a realtor and why you have to have an MLS affiliation. Some of that's pretty obvious, but now you're going to get to active agent status. So all of this so far has been non-binding. Your license has not transferred until you actually go to the Department of Regulatory Agencies in your state and you transfer your license. So you're going to get a subject line, important actions needed to completely join eXp Realty. This must be completed for you to actually join eXp in the Libertas group here. So you're going to activate your official agent passport account and then you're going to get uh, you know, a welcome to eXp Realty email. But now you get an eXp Realty email email address. This gets you access to eXp Enterprise, My eXp, both of which will be covered, your marketing center, workplace, work chat, official world access as an eXp agent. Very exciting times when you get your eXp Realty email address, which comes after you've actually transferred your license. So now that you're active with eXp Realty, you get access to SkySlope, you can click on these links and get your business cards and signs. We'll do that in another tutorial. And I just want to also point out something very, very key here, which is that we have these state brokers now, this whole map. And uh, we'll, create, we'll share the link to this map and it's in other places. But let's say you're joining, you, you know, you're in Pennsylvania and you're signing an agent in Colorado and you really don't know how to help that person. You just click right here on the Colorado joining guide and it'll walk you through step by step and you can jump to these areas as well. But it's going to tell you who your employing broker is, who your managing broker is. Uh, so how to do the MLS application, how to, you know, if you want to transfer over a brick and mortar office, all of these things, the regular, <coughs> <coughs> a branch office, if you want to transfer over an existing brick and mortar, how to transfer over your license, education requirements for a license in Colorado, team regulations, advertising regulations, policies and procedures that are state specific. Really a powerful tool here, accessible via the hub in eXp world. I hope this little onboarding and application tutorial was helpful. 